Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here at my next YouTube video. This one's going to be a, another trading card game video. This time I'm going to be opening some Bionicle Quest for the Masks trading card game booster packs, uh, specifically um, 24. And yeah, this is a full box of them, yeah. And as you can see here from the date, uh, 2001. So yes, these are like 13 year old trading cards from when Bionicle originally came out. You may be wondering why on earth am I as kind of like a primary avatar channel with some trading card stuff doing Bionicle cards and that is because uh, actually before I was an avatar fan probably Bionicle was one of the things I was actually the most into and in many ways you could probably say that Bionicle kind of inspired me to like really get into avatar because obviously Bionicle, the, there is this kind of element style to things, like the Toas have um, an element related to them, so they're, it, while it doesn't perfectly cover fire, earth, air, water, there is fire, water, you know, there's ice, there's, uh, I think, rock, stone they separate earth into, and then there's, you know, air as well, so um, in many ways that's kind of why a lot, a lot of the reason I got into Avatar, just that idea I, was, I had some familiarity with through Bionicle, and regards to this trading card game specifically, I did actually play this when I was younger. I don't have any of them anymore, I don't have any of the Bionicles anymore, but with the rumours, you know, coming out that it's basically confirmed that Bionicles coming back next year, uh, with a whole new toy line and stuff like that, uh, I was just on the lookout to possibly get myself some of those old Bionicles back, and I kind of came across this, and uh, sorry I'm taking so long to actually just get to showing you what's inside this, but um, uh, on Amazon.co.uk, I actually found uh, some listings for this card game, and uh, when I searched to you know, find who had the cheapest, I saw this listing for basically 24 packs of this card game for £9.99. And so I was like, wow, that's really good value if that's true. And I actually emailed the seller to, to make sure for sure that it was 24 packs and it wasn't just some weird listing for just one pack. And they said, no, it is 24 packs, that's the price, and yeah, I ordered it. I wasn't expecting quite this box, I was more expecting, you know, like a classic booster box of cards where it's like literally just 24 packs in a box. What this actually is, is um, it's 24 blister packs, so it's, um, you know, it's individual pack on a kind of card back, so it can even go up on shelves properly, like uh, those type of shelves, so um, that's what this is. Now, obviously... This is what the game is about, you know, Bionicle Quest for the Masks. Um, came out 2001, it's one of those first kind of uh, additional things that they brought out. Uh, obviously, uh, Lego Technic and stuff like that. And this was Bionicle's interesting in, for Lego in that it was basically their first kind of uh, product that had a story to it. And so in that sense, you know, you can really track, you know, that recent Lego movie that came out all the way back to Bionicle in terms of, you know, Lego getting into a more story-focused stuff. And basically since then, nearly everything they've put out has had some form of a story to it. Um, so Bionicle is uh, very important to LEGO and uh, a lot of LEGO fans out there. And uh, yeah, let's get, I suppose it's about time to get into this. I can explain what this card game is as we go through them. And so yeah, just uh, yeah. nine cards per pack, you get one foil card guaranteed. And while it says it's a trading card game, that's a little bit of a kind of misinterpretation. This is a... In, in essence, a board game, uh, because when you actually go to play this game, it is all about you know, you use you basically use masks from the Bionicles, uh, and if you get one of the starter sets, you get two masks from uh, two of the Toa, and you use that as a kind of piece to go around the board with and uh, stuff like that. The card game is just kind of um, used to kind of determine who wins basically as you go through, and so they just made a kind of collectible card game out of it when it should have been a board game. I'm pretty sure there was a board game to this game, but uh, they added some extra complexities for this uh, trading card game version. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go through it. I don't really remember this card game that much, so um, we'll see as we go along what we get. Um, so what's it saying in the back? Okay, over a hundred new cards to collect, one foil card in every pack, begin your quest with one of the three Bionicle theme decks. Um, okay, there's a random assortment of 180 Bionicle booster cards, Five, you get five uncommons, three rares, and one ultra rare in this pack. Um, and yeah, just classic, you know, odds aren't perfect and stuff like that. 
But yeah, interesting opening up 13 year old cards. But uh, let's get into it. That's what the back of each uh, card looks like. You've got your classic uh, bionicle symbol. And yeah. Oh, here's a, here's a how to play thing, I think. Uh, or just what the different cards mean. Um, instructions on how to build your deck. And yeah, just basically what the different cards are. And I think there's four or five different types. So here we go. Uh, this is a card. This is one of the masks for Tahu, who's obviously the Toe of Fire, and it's the Kanohi uh, Kakama. And this is a uh, Pohatu's mask. This is obviously uh, Toa Mata, kind of a uh, time period, obviously 2001. And so, it's, it's, I don't know the Bionicle lore that well, but. Uh, I think in the story at some point that all the Toa did get basically all of the masks in their own colour and uh, this is, uh, Kanohi is obviously what they call the masks and um, yeah, this adds 100 points in speed and um, you know, just says this mask grants uh, increase in speed and that's pretty cool. Uh, here's an actual Toa card, so here's Tahu and uh, yeah, this, the, you, you, choose, you have one of these uh, as part of your kind of game and you like, you just choose what Toa you want to be and you augment their skills here with the different masks and I think the idea is that you get cards like uh, that are missions or something like that I think this is one of them and it uh, basically says you know something you do on the board and if you win it you get a mask and that kind of powers you up later on in the game yeah here's uh, Tahu and you know you have a uh, the different categories are flight, shielding, speed, strength, swimming, and vision, and uh, that is basically what all the masks represent. Like I know Tahu's mask is the mask of shielding and stuff like that, so that explains why he is the most shielding of all of the Toa at 900, and then his lowest one is uh, swimming. Naturally, he's the fire Toa. But yeah, there are first two cards. Then we have the uh, Kanohi Rao, and I think this is one of the uh, um, kind of Taraga's mask, as it says here. And it says, no, Kama says add 100 points to any skill, do not discard after use. Uh, fork shaped staff again, one of those Tarago ones for uh, no Kama. Um, who obviously, I think, I think it, it's, these are the Toa Metru, who, are, who then become the Taraga. I think that's what the canon is about. Um, it's a fairly confusing universe if you don't know a massive amount about it. And that's all about, you know, here's spaces. Here's the first mention of spaces. Here's Nokama herself, uh, chief of Gakoro village. Um, what's this card? Uh, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. You see the uh, kind of uh, comic book art on the back, and that's pretty cool. She's finding, Gali is finding one of the masks. And you get some of the story here, you know, it just explains about that. And it's a game tip. Uh, I don't think you really use this card in the game. Um, it's just a game tip. Always use foil versions of the Great Mask cards when uh, building your deck. Bonus card. Uh, you can go to the same game action space twice in a row. That's just a game action card. And then here's a Kopaka card. Um, him with his uh, golden mask. That's pretty cool. I actually really like that. I actually completely forgot that there was those cards in the game. Maybe it was because I primarily only had starter sets when I was younger, but uh, here's one of these mission cards. You and your opponent swap Toa Mask locations. Uh, and now obviously I don't know the setup for the game, so I can't really remember the exact details of what exactly goes on, but uh, it seems pretty cool. So yeah, I'll try and get through these a bit quicker from here on out. Um, I may actually pause the video at some point just to like open the blister packs in all of these packs. So this will go smoother. I'll probably do that after a couple. Maybe even after this one. Just to speed things up a bit. Okay, get into one of these. Okay, here's the Kanohi Akaku. That's uh, Kopaka's uh, normal mask. That's obviously the like figure the set comes with. And it's the mask of vision. That's pretty cool. There's Kopaka's uh, How Mask, that's uh, the shielding one. Kopaka's uh, Miru Mask. Wow, I got five of <laughs> five of his masks. That's pretty crazy. Uh, the only one I didn't get was uh, Pohatu's Mask, actually, for uh, Kopaka. So that's pretty cool. The Miru, the Flight Mask. Uh, Kao Kao is the Swimming Mask, and the Pakari is the Strength Mask. But this is, this is this bonus card, there's the canisters that the Toa come in. Um, here's a, another galley one. Sink or swim, it's pretty cool. 
a great mask challenge speed and strength and this, this is a, those kind of key cards in your deck that uh, basically wh where you fight your opponent in this case you have speed and strength compare I think you add them up and then compare and here our shiny card is the Kanohi Cow Cow that's the uh, swimming mask for Tahu and that's the difference between the shiny ones is that and um, they add 200 points instead of uh, 100 so uh, where do we have that yeah here for Kopaka, his cow cow is 100, the shiny uh, cow cow is uh, 200, so that's that. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly pause the video and like open a bunch of these so this goes a lot smoother. Okay, got uh, 10 of these, 10 more of these things open. Obviously there's 24 um, in the box, uh, and as, as I said, I got this for like uh, about 15 euro shipped to Ireland. I had to use Parcel Motel, so it cost a little bit more, but... Um, Still, I'm pretty sure the place that I ordered this from on Amazon.co.uk had like 10 more boxes or something like that left. So uh, if you're in the UK or Ireland and uh, are interested in these, uh, definitely go to Amazon and look for that uh, that listing of um, 20, it says the first 24 packs for uh, like £9.99, I think it lists it as. Uh, so here we go, Ka Kanohi Kakama. So that, that's the last Kopaka mask I needed normally, I think. There's uh, Kopaka himself, the card, and obviously uh, Vision 900. And it seems like that's basically the way they do the Toa over the course of this, that the their best strength is 900, and um, they kind of have similar numbers just mixed around. Uh, Vakama is obviously the um, Turaga of Fire, and the previous... Um, Toa Metru of Fire, I think, um, and he has, he has the Kanohi uh, Huna, H-U-N-A, Fire Staff, there's Vakama himself, so it seems like there's a kind of like, you te have a tendency to get these cards together, so like, um, but get Vakama and the three things related to him at the start, reward card, and uh, here's our two um, kind of art cards, a lot of Galley you were getting early on, Galley arrives, um, Kopaka Downhill Run, that's pretty cool. Very, th those guys are very interesting actually, nice to have. And then our shiny is a uh, Liwa Kanohi Cow Cow, so that's interesting. Shiny Cow Cows <laughs> all over the place. Um, but yeah, let's continue on, next pack. And yeah, I'm super excited for Bionicle uh, coming back next year, assuming it all turns out to be fully true. At this stage, based on the leaks that have come out, I, I don't see it like being fake at all at this stage. Uh, I'm just really eager to see like the full details. So we get uh, Kakama for Pohatu. Uh, Pohatu 2 himself, he's a Toa of Stone, obviously. I always found it interesting that they kind of differentiated between like the, sto the Toa of Stone being Pohatu and then like... Onu Anua was then um, the Toa of like Earth, or I, I, when I get him, I suppose I'll be interested to know like what what specifically he's called. Um, his uh, his key thing is speed, and that makes sense because uh, he was the one that was kind of built upside down almost when like the action was with his uh, leg and it kicked instead of his hand moving. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Matau is the uh, uh, Turago there, and he is the Maki. And his staff, and then yeah, so you get the three of them in a row. It seems like so the packs are kind of like somewhat kind of made up, put together. Um, I suppose that makes sense. We get this mission card. Um, Tahu clearing a path. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Looks he looks really small in the picture though. The art doesn't seem that great there, but it's fine. Uh, great mask challenge, flight and shielding. And then bonus of uh, an image of Pohatu and says you can move four ex extra spaces discard after use. And so that's that. Next pack. Kopaka Kanohi Kakama. I, I can sort of see already that you know that you're gonna get a lot of repeats in this. I think I've already seen most of these with Kakama. But these, definitely these art cards are going to be interesting to collect. Tahu Triumphs. Oh, that, that, that's a really nice uh, image there. Him with his uh, gold how. Um, oh, three art cards in this one. Liwa versus Nui Kopen. There's Liwa, the first kind of Liwa one. Um, and then Kopaka Hitching a Ride. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like those art cards. They're really, they're really nice, actually. They don't seem to play a role in the game so much, but they do tell you some of the story, and that's that's, that's pretty cool. And then a uh, shiny Tahu Kanohi Hau. So that, that's that's nice to have, just the shiny version of his actual mask. And that's kind of like the, the the imagery that they use for Bionicle a lot of the time. Like, I think that that's the mask in front of the pack, I think, just to kind of... Uh, they use a kind of rusted version of that. But I think plays some role in the story, something like that, a rusted dark mask or something like that. Okay, Kopaka masks. Again, there's those ones again. And yeah, once again, like for the, the second time, we've got this pack where there's five masks and the only one missing is the, the uh, Pohatu normal mask. Uh, Tahu Lava Surfing, which is pretty nice, with uh, Vakama there, uh, it's a bonus card with Galley, um, mission card, and then Shiny Shielding and Speed. That seems really a weird card just to have Shiny, just like Shielding and Speed, is that like amazing or something? Um, and yeah, you can sort of see, like, just from the way the cards work, that there's nothing overly complex. Like, the game doesn't use a hand, as far as I know. Like, you don't really like, draw cards into your hand that much. And I know you separate all of the different types of cards out when you play the game. Um, let's see, there's another Kopaka. Two more Vakama things. Penalty card, that's interesting. Play after your opponent's lands on Star Space, you must... Your opponent must take on a mission to scarlet for use. There's Anua, the first Anua card. There he is, finding a new mask. Anua arrives, so there he is with another... Well, I think that's him putting his mask on for the first time. And then a shiny mission card. Okay, here's some Liwa cards. Okay, there we go. Liwa, uh, Liwa Kakama, the actual Liwa card himself. Uh, Flight 900, that's his kind of key skill. A uh, nice image of him. Um, Huenua is the um, Turaga of um, Earth or something. Rock. Can't really remember what Anua is. Drill of Anua for Huenua. Um, a lot of uas staying here. There's there he is there. Wenua. Okay, swimming and vision. Great mask challenge. Uh, what do we have here? Anua Anua versus Nua Rami. Interesting image. Uh, Pohatu 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 triumphs. Oh, there's his uh, him with his gold mask. And then Tahu gets the uh, Onua's mask in shiny. So that's nice. Um, yep. I wonder if we actually get the Toa cards themselves as shiny. That's what I really wonder. That'd be cool to get like the, some of the Toa in, in shiny. Probably not, because it would be a little bit unfair, because you just start off with an advantage overall. Um, here's some Pohatu masks. Pohatu himself. Um, Matau staff. A uh, galley close call. I think we got that arc before. Bonus uh, Kopaka triumphs. Yeah, we got that one before as well. And Liwa Kanohi Pakari. Okay, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's just it's re Bionica is just this really interesting kind of uh, story to it. Just the, the whole idea of just the names coming from Maori culture and stuff like that. Um, very unique names and just the whole idea of like what Bionica like stands for is just like uh, was it bio bi biological chron oh, chronicle or something like that. Uh, so it's pretty interesting um, that they are technically they look like robots, but you know they're kind of techno organic and stuff like that. There's Tahu card, um, Nokama. There's a one of the first galley masks we've got. Uh, Kanohi Akaku for her. Uh, bonus, you can move four spaces, it's got after use. Liwa walking on eggshells. Uh, yeah, there he is up in the tree. Pretty nice. Anua triumphs. 
Oh, there, there he is with his gold mask. That's pretty nice. But you get some of those. A new uh, Kanohi Kao. That's nice. Uh, yeah, so, so you can see that there's like a... Nothing overly fancy about the game, like the shinies are just like identical to like some of the commons, but um, they, give, they, they give 200 points instead of uh, like 100. So there's nothing like massively special about you know shinies and stuff like that. I assume like you, you obviously need them to like do really well at this game, but I don't think it was in any way like too much competitive since it was more of a board game type game. Anua versus Nuarami, yeah, we've seen that one before. Pohatu Triumphs, we've seen that shiny mission card. We'll open more of these blister packs now. Uh, getting through them a lot quicker now since we keep getting repeats. Still haven't got a lot of the Toa. I think it's, we haven't got Gali or Anua yet. We've got Kopaka, Tahu, Liwa, and. Yeah, I think we're only missing a couple, but still, it's interesting, we've gone through so many packs now, we've got a lot of doubles, but uh, there's Wanua, Anua, Akaku, Liwa walking on eggshells, Anua Triumphs, so that's another repeat, another shiny mission card, and I think there's, they're all different, all these mission cards, they're not the exact same. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to pause the video again and open up the remainder of these blisters, and then... Okay, so 12 packs to go, we're halfway through, and yeah, an uh, interesting thing to note just there, uh, just notice there, the first edition as well, so that's uh, <laughs> even cooler. You know. I don't even know if this card's set got like a second edition run, but uh, we'll continue nonetheless. Um, okay, there's there's a new card, Nuju. I don't think we've got uh, his other two cards, his mask or his uh, pickaxe thing. Um, what's this? A new infected mask. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's the card that looks like it's on the front of the pack. Or the mask that looks like it's on the front of the pack. Gali, Gali arrives. Okay, I think we've got that card. And then the shiny version of uh, Kopaka's normal mask, the uh, Kaku. Okay, another galley mask. Oh, there's galley, finally. And her key skill is swimming, 900. There's Anua, Anua's hammer. Uh, Anua himself. I, I don't know if we, do, I think that's a new card. This is a new card, definitely. Penalty. Um, Pohatu versus Kane Ra. What on earth is going on in this image? Uh, I think he's like upside down. Um, but yeah, Kopaka arrives. That's new, definitely. That's pretty cool. Kopaka, I think, is a lot of people's favorite Toa, just because he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, Anua Kanoi Kakao. Okay. That's pretty nice. I think we still have to get the Onua. Uh, Onua. The difference between the Taraga for Stone and the Onua the Toa of Earth, I think, is really weird. But okay, more Kopaka masks, uh, this time five of them, but uh, the only one missing is his normal mask. Uh, Great Master Challenge, Flight and Shielding, Gali Triumphs, so that's new, it's pretty cool. She got her uh, golden mask. Uh, I'm surprised the gold masks don't appear to be just flat out cards in this game, but uh, there's obviously some form of a reason for that. Two masks, flight and shielding mask challenge, galley triumphs again, bonus and mission. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Liwa masks, Liwa himself, Huenua. Reward, Galley arrives, Kopaka downhill, we've got that, uh, Kanohi Kakama, I'm not sure if we've got that. Again, I'm going to sort 
sort kind of cut off again after I finish opening all these packs and sort the cards out and just see like how close to like finishing the set that I get and stuff like that. Nowhere near obviously because um, there's so many shiny masks to get. Straight away there's like 36 uh, shiny masks possible to get and there's only 24 packs here. And obviously I haven't got masks in every pack but uh, there's five Anua masks. Um, still need to get the Anua Toa card as well. Liwa Big Jump, that's pretty cool. Lava Surfing, we've got that. Shiny Penalty. Five Liwa Masks. There's definitely a tendency for a lot of these packs to just have like five masks with the exact same colour in them. Pohatu versus Nui Jaga, that's another new card. Bonus Liwa Triumphs, that's new. Kopaka Kanohi Akaku, I think we've got that in shiny already. Um, but yeah, we'll continue on. There we go, there he is. Anua Toa of Earth, that is his name, okay. Nuju, there's some new cards, we haven't got those two either. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. Definitely, we've got all the Toa now. Uh, Nuju uh, mission, Tahu clearing a path. I think we've got that one, yeah. Like, and then this mission card, which is a little bent up at the corner. Straight out of the pack, but fine. No problem. And four packs to go, I believe. Kopaka, Kopaka, Vakama, Vakama, Vakama. Liwa walking on eggshells. We've seen that one. Anua triumphs. We've seen that one. Mission. Uh, Kopaka Kanohi Hayo. I think we've got that one already. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a few missed opportunities, like you could possibly say, just in this pack, for like the gold masks like aren't a thing, um, apparently. As cards, the shiny Toa possibly aren't cards. Again, I don't know really what the full set list for this game is like. Um, a newer Rewards of Victory, we've got that one. A newer Arise, we've got that. And this mission card. Um, yeah, there's definitely just a kind of confusion over like it seems like a lot of the cards are just repeats in shiny and. Definitely that makes it like not the kind of coolest card game to collect where it's not like the shiny card is like amazing, it's this awesome card to have, it's just the rest of the cards are shiny basically. Mission Kopaka Walk Quietly, that's new. Anua Infected Mask, we've got that one. Pohatu Kanoi Pakari. And now final pack, 24 out of 20. Lots of Liwa masks. Um, Pohatu arrives. That's new. Um, another mission card. Liwa big jump. Got that one. Gali Kanohi Kakama. So yeah, that, that's the box. Pretty interesting just to kind of go back and like I definitely like as I opened them like remembered a few things about the game that I didn't remember. Uh, like going into this video before it opened up any of them so that's pretty cool uh, but yeah I'm gonna gonna cut away now sort out these cards and just kind of see like any clear obvious cards that I'm missing or anything like that okay so I just sorted out the cards just there and yeah definitely don't have the full set <laughs> didn't even come close to really um, so the main ones, obviously, you know, that I wanted to get were just, you know, the, the Toas, all their masks, you know, the stuff related to them, and uh, so I got all of the uh, Tahu masks, you know, I got Tahu, I got all those masks, I got the, the three cards for the Turaga, uh, did the same with uh, Kopaka, got all of his stuff, got, the, got all the stuff for Anua as well, except um, the Hau mask, but there's a 
I actually thought I had them all because um, of this card. And as you can see, it's not shiny, but it's numbered number 177 when the how should be numbered number 66. And then notice that the card reads add 200 points to shielding because it's the same number as the um, shiny version. Now I did actually get the shiny version of this. Um, as you can see here, and it's the same card, same number and stuff like that. So yeah, I just got a kind of odd misprint here uh, where I got a shiny card in normal version. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I suppose, keep that in with this, just to say, you know, have them all in non-shiny as well. Even though the card reads 200. I got uh, Anua's stuff there. I got Lua, all of his uh, masks and his stuff. Got Pohatu, all of his stuff as well. And then we get to Gali, where I got... Yeah, I got this mask. I got the first mask here. Didn't get the four in the middle, so... I only got two of the normal masks. Got uh, And I got her three Turaga stuff, so I barely got any Gali cards. Which was disappointing, but... Uh, it's just really weird, you open a whole box, I get nearly all of the kind of standard cards. And the thing with that is that um, the amount of Kopaka repeats I got is pretty insane. Like, um, as you can see here, I got uh, four spare Kopakas. I probably have his masks, you know, three or four times over. Only got uh, one Nuju thing, so though. Uh, which is interesting, and then the, the only repeats for Gallia I got were her Turaga. Um, then in terms of these cards, the uh, kind of picture cards, um, again, didn't get all of them. Got a lot of, uh, you know, they start from number 100, so I assume 101 is uh, the first one. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 5, 6, uh, you know, missing a lot of them. Um, the interesting thing is it got uh, five different uh, picture cards for Anua. Only three for Tahu, four for Pohatu, four for Gali, four for Liwa, and five for Kopaka. So there, there looks like there's about six or seven for each Toa, and uh, I didn't get all of them. But uh, yeah, these are definitely some of the more interesting cards. I completely didn't wasn't aware that these were actually um, part of uh, what this was in this uh, game, but they're pretty cool. Nonetheless, um, then with these cards, the kind of more boring cards for this set, since they all have the same pictures more or less, uh, didn't get all of them, but there doesn't appear to be that many in the set, just because, you know, 38 is the first, 138 is the first mission card, and it seems to end at 145 or something like that. Then these great mask challenges, I only got three unique ones uh, here, so there's probably, um, like, a good few of them, and it looks like there's only, um, Probably only six of them, and then there's like a couple shiny ones. Looks like there is only one reward card, um, because it obviously skips from last one of the last great mask challenges is 148. 149 is the reward card, and then it goes straight into bonuses. And again, there's only looks like there's only a couple of them, and then there's probably two penalty cards to end off that. And after 160, which seems to end the normal set, you get into the um, shinies. Uh, because Tahu's uh, Kakama mask is the first shiny. And yeah, I got uh, four of his masks in shiny, so that was pretty cool. I got uh, two of uh, Kopaka's mask in shiny, but I got uh, two of his um, Okaku. I got uh, two of these Anua ones, plus the uh, addition, you know, I got this card in non-shiny as well, even though it still says 200, so that was interesting. Two Liwas, one Pohatu, one Gali. Um, I got... How many different? One, uh, I got 199, 202, 203, 4. I got 4 of the 203 cards, so that was disappointing. Got 204, got 205. One shiny Great Mask Challenge, one shiny bonus, and one shiny penalty. So, yeah, it seems overall pretty cool. Uh, still have no idea how to play the game, and I think overall you probably would need to get one of the starter decks to actually know how to play the game. But maybe I'll get one of them and I'll do a like Airspeed Plays TCG game. But uh, yeah, otherwise that's been the video for the Bionicle Quest for the Masks trading card game. Uh, either way, I'll probably have some sort of a video about Bionicle once uh, the whole 2015 stuff starts. Like if there's a TV show, I'll probably review that. And I probably will be getting, at the very least, the six uh, Toa for the uh, in terms of the sets when they come out. So I'll probably do some sort of a review for them. But uh, yeah. 
that's been this review. Thanks for watching and bye.